Okay, so this is what we have done. Uh, if you want to get the project files for this, I'm saving them uh, for each progress we are making or for each video I'm creating. Uh, so if you want to download them, you can go to my Patreon page. I'll be leaving links in the description or you can just download them from uh, Gumroad. I'll also be leaving a link in the description if you want to get them there. So let's continue here. So this looks good, uh, but not good enough for what we want because yeah, this is just uh, floating in the air and then it moves forward. Uh, we want it to look, we are trying to create visual effects here. So uh, this, you will never see this in the real world. We want a real projectile, maybe a cannonball uh, hitting this tower. Again, if you have watched, um, if you have ever played uh, Age of Empires, I, you know what I'm talking about, especially the new uh, definitive edition of Age of Empires, uh, where, where you have animation for these uh, ob uh, buildings falling apart. So let's create our Canon object here. So I'll just create something simple here. Let's use a cylinder. Uh, that says, I'm going to set them to 16 and scale this up. Uh, rotate this. I'm not go creating something realistic. I'm just doing something simple. So let me shade this mode and then uh, make sure that uh, this is I turn on auto smooth uh, so that we have sharp edges. Uh, we're trying to make something very basic here. Let's scale this down a bit. I don't know if which side should be scaled down. I think it's this side. Uh, this should be the gun. Just to make this a little bit interesting, I'll add another cylinder here for so this is our uh, cannon. Okay. Now we can even say it is pivot point. No, that doesn't matter. So we want this to shoot at the projectile that will hit uh, this object. So uh, this tower, because that looks more interesting than having just a Suzanne a monk head uh, hitting this. So for this, let's create our sphere. Shade smooth. So we want this to shoot from this cannon barrel scale this down and I shoot uh, our tower so to do this uh, we just need to first set a few keyframes uh, from say something like there then go to frame 10 and animate the projectile like that so if we play back you get something like that but uh, it's not really of course we can uh, go to the physics tab and give it a rigid body uh, object and uh, set it as that set it as a type of passive and give it an animated uh, property maybe animate it colliding through uh, these bricks and uh, you'll get the results you want but uh, you will never be able to animate it to look realistic as it would if you let Felix uh, do the work for you so what you can do instead of setting it to, to type of passive you can set it to active but uh, the problem is when you set uh, any object to have a type of of active yes let me first turn off animated it will just physics uh, the blender physics system will always take over or it will override uh, your keyframe so you can see we have keyframes here let me just first turn off this for a second uh, that are kind of so we have animated this ball uh, to shoot from here to here uh, using keyframes but uh, when we turn on rigid bodies those keyframes are ignored. You can see we have them there, but uh, they're being ignored uh, because the rigid body uh, system takes precedent over the keyframes. Uh, but uh, we do want uh, this part, let me first, we do want this, at least these few seconds of animation so that we can dictate where the cannonball is shooting and what direction is shooting to. So to do that, uh, you can set uh, the rigid body bar but uh, to override uh, the rigid body, you need to turn on the animated keyframe uh, so that the animation takes precedent over uh, the rigid body. But now you can see even after the keyframes are done, uh, the rigid body system doesn't take over uh, because uh, it's being uh, overridden uh, by this animated uh, property. So 
we can also animate this property to turn it off after we have the projection uh, the projectile out of the canon. So at around frame, maybe at around, we don't even need this keyframe, but I will leave it there just for demonstration. So at around frame seven, you can switch on the, you can switch off the animation of the animated property, but uh, you need to have it switched on first. So I'll have it switched on at frame four. So that we start the animation with this uh, animated property on. So you can see, if you look at it, when I move my keyframe, my timeline indicator here, you can see that it's always on. And at frame five is on. Frame seven, I want it to be off. So I'll just switch off, the, switch, switch off that property there. So if I go back here, you can see it's on. Frame one, two, three, five is on. Then seven. is off and that's what we want so if we play back you can see that now we didn't uh, animate this uh, like this but uh, uh because we have the animation property on and off these few keyframes are animated by us and then the rigid body system takes over at around uh, frame 10 as we said it to to do so and now you can see we get the projector we want and uh, the cannonball hits the the tower but uh, it doesn't break it completely uh it just bounces off just a bit and maybe pushes some of the bricks inside so if you want this <coughs> to have enough power uh, to break through the uh, the tower you would either increase the speed of the cannonball or just increase its mass because so that is much heavier than it is right now because right now it's uh, about one uh, kilogram so if i put it to 10 you can see now it's much heavy and uh, yeah, crashes at the tower even much. Uh, so let's just reduce this to about five and see. Because I don't want it to be too strong. Let's try three. Yeah, I think three is good. It's exactly what we want. <coughs> but uh, we have an issue here. The tower starts falling down. You can see the bricks falling down before uh, the projectile hits uh, the tower. We'll fix that in the next tutorial. Thank you for watching. Again, if you want the project files, I'll be, let me save this as part two. So if you want to start from here, you can download the project files from Gumroad or my Patreon page. I'll be leaving the link in the description. Thank you.